So here's the, the no-dig, no-till corn after about two and a half months of growing. Uh, it's the middle of October right now, and I've got about two more weeks until I harvest this, uh, this corn. Now, if you guys saw in the previous video where I showed how I did this, um, these guys are growing in grass. These, this was just my yard. This was never tilled. This was never worked. I didn't dig anything. All I did was take a stick, and uh, this stick right here, actually, and poke a hole in the ground, throw a seed in there, and move on to the next one. And I mowed it really short. And uh, so this is a way that you can grow corn without needing a tractor. Uh, you just need some grass. And as a matter of fact, you could probably gorilla garden a bunch of corn like this too. You know, you don't even need land to grow corn like this. Um, all you gotta do, all you need is a stick, some seeds, and uh, a place that gets really good, that's got really good soil that doesn't get messed with too much. Um, you can do this in your front yard, your backyard. Anybody with a damn yard can grow corn like this. And uh, there's no fertilizer. This is just grass, guys. Right in between all the corn. And then I, I mow, mow right in between it. Take my lawnmower and go right up here. And then I mow right there and a little bit in between. But this is the best corn I've ever grown. Um, we're getting towards the end of the year, so the leaves are really dying back a lot. And uh, look how tall some of this stuff is. I mean, this corn's eight feet tall, growing in my grass. And it's got some really nice ears on it. And what I really like about this corn, this is um, earth tones that I grew um, two years ago and I replanted it, but it's got like pink, little pink silks with a little bit of, it's really cool. I mean, these silks are really bright pink. A lot of these are already, already done. Uh, let me see if I can find some more little pink silks. Yeah, look at this. Look at this little one right in here. And they're like a neon pink. And I've seen some really dark silks before. A lot of them are just kind of yellow and stuff. Um, some that are just almost blackish purple, uh, but this bright pink is pretty neat. You can see right here. Um, got one, one stalk that just got too heavy. It rained really good yesterday, and uh, I think it's because the weight of this ear right here is pulling this one over. Uh, but we had some really, really good winds and a storm. And uh, this stuff held up really good. Held up better than any other corn that I've grown. And uh, look at this. I mean, I'm getting double ears on this stuff. And it's only supposed to be a single ear. But I grew a bunch of other types of corn that year, too. So it might have crossed a little bit with some cool stuff. But, yeah, look at this one. This one right here has got three, I think. We got one. One right here. A little no-nothing one right there. And then another one right here. But yeah, just about every stalk of corn's got a really nice big ear, ear on it. And these right here. So yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update and show you what corn can do just growing in your yard. I'm really close to harvesting this stuff and I'm looking forward to it and seeing how it looks. And I had a deer come over here and chew on this a couple weeks ago. But I'm not too too upset because it kind of gave me a glimpse of all of the pretty kernels that are in there. Can you guys see that? There's like blues and purples and it's really, really pretty. So I've just kind of left it instead of just kind of knocking it down. I've just left it because this, you know, the seeds are still good, I guess. I could probably harvest this one now, I think. So yeah, no till, no dig corn. I did everything they say you're not supposed to do, and it's the best corn I've ever grown. <laughs> Believe that? They say you gotta till it, you gotta fertilize it, you gotta to, you gotta do all these different things. You know, corn loves its nitrogen. You gotta add nitrogen. You gotta do this. This corn is just as tall, if not taller, than the field corn that I see driving into town, and. Uh, 
I planted it at the end of August, at the beginning of August. And the leaves are kind of starting to die back a little bit. We're getting really cool nights. Uh, we just started getting nights in the 40s and stuff like that, which is awesome. Days in the 60s. And, uh, yeah. No dig corn, guys. Anybody can do this. I'd love to see you guys make some videos of you trying this out next year and seeing how it does for you. Um, even these plants down here didn't get as tall as the ones down there, but they're still six, seven feet tall. You know, I'm, uh, I'm almost six foot, and this is, I can't even reach the tip of it. So, don't always believe what you hear. It's always good to think independently. Think for yourself. Don't, uh, don't be a zebra and follow everybody else, you know. You want to blend in with everybody else instead of blending in with your surroundings, you know. You know, really think about things. When somebody says you can't do this and you can't do that, maybe do it out of spite and see how it does. My neighbor across the street told me I can't grow fruit trees here. Told me I can't, uh, the fruit trees, the deer and the rabbits and everything get it. And he said to me, uh, he said, what do you think? I told him, yeah, I'm going to plant hundreds of fruit trees. He's like, well, don't you think anybody else would have fruit trees? He's like, who do you think you are? <laughs> it was the weirdest conversation I had when I first moved in. I said, yeah, I'm going to plant all a bunch of fruit trees in here. He said, I've tried to plant fruit trees. Everybody else tried to plant fruit trees. And he said that the deer and the critters get them and the weather and blah, blah, blah. He's like, don't you think that if you could grow fruit trees here, everybody would have them? And I was like, no. You know, just because fruit trees will grow doesn't mean people are going to put them in their yard. And he's like, well, that's, that's not the case. So he told me that I can't grow fruit trees here. And uh, now he has to drive by my house every day and stare at my tons and tons of fruit trees that are filling up my front yard and the, the nursery over here. It's all fruit trees. So if I would have just listened to what someone told me to do, you know, I wouldn't have my, uh, my nice yard full of fruit trees or my nice patch of corn. You know, you can't do that. You got to till it. You got to fertilize it. Well, this is what corn does when you just stick a hole in the ground about three inches. You get below the sod, get below the roots of the grass, punch that stick down in there, put the corn in there, step on it, and make some rows. And uh, experiment with this, guys. Try this out. I'm shocked, you know. I'm shocked. If I wouldn't have seen somebody do this, I probably wouldn't believe it. But... We're going to have some nice corn from this this year, and then next year, I've got plenty of grassy areas that I'm just going to fill with corn like this. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Don't be a zebra.